What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live, and today we're going to be doing a reaction video to the Dionysus dance rehearsal, and then also the live performance that they did, Dionysus and Not To Date. Last video that we posted was a reaction to both of those songs. We actually, for the first music video that I've ever seen, was the Not Today music video. It was pretty awesome. All the scenery looked really cool. You guys can see my entire reaction on the last video that I posted. So this is actually our second dance rehearsal rehearsal that I've ever watched in my life, let alone a BTS one. So let's freaking get into it. Three, two, one, boom! <clears throat> this one's so much bigger than the last one I watched. Oh my god. This is already a way bigger production than their one previous before this that I watched. Base Bay, I think it was the dance. And you can tell that they've already upgraded a ton in their just rehearsal space. Like this is a massive stage that they've got rented out. So much different. That's freaking awesome to see the progression that they've already made in these two videos. What does he have? What's that in his hands? What does he have there? For Sugar not wanting to be a dancer, he crushes. Like, look, like, freaking effortless. It's freaking cool. Okay, I got a question. So, what is the relevance of these chairs back there? There's enough chairs for each band member. There's got to be a relevance in the chairs. I don't know what it is, but it seems like there there's always something. I've learned there's something behind everything that these guys do. So, I'm wondering what the relevance is. <clears throat> They're so precise, holy shit. They're so freaking clean, holy shit. That's cool. I just gotta say something really quick, like two things. First of all, I just was at my daughter's dance rehearsal the other day. Definitely, <laughs> it's definitely a little bit better to watch this. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, my daughter's a pretty great dancer, but these guys are definitely a little level above that. It's really freaking cool to see how well they're doing, like how good they are. Their timing is precise and their flows are really cool. Like they change tempos really quickly in their dance and that's really neat. like that so smooth and then quick jeez what That's a really cool dance move, or it just seems fun to do. Is that like a certain dance team that's with them? Do you guys know the name of them? Because honestly, whenever I watched a live show recently, they had a ghost band and that was the name of the band. Does this dance team have a uh, like a name or is this just they hired individual dancers? I don't know. But either way, they're very like tight knit with their choreography.
This is so cool how they do these. That's freaking nuts. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> That's so cool. They're so good. They're like up on their thrones now. Let's freaking talk about it really quick. Like I said, I honestly feel like at the end of this video, I'm not, I might be reading into it a little bit more, but like Dionysus, the god of partying, pretty much, he was a god. And uh, them getting up on those seats at the very end and they're kind of like up on those pedestals feels like a very godlike thing, like kind of them taking their throne, taking their place in the world or something like that kind of. I called it. If you guys go back in the last video, but at the end of this song, whenever the tempo goes double time, that is going to be nuts live. Already the choreography was freaking crazy. So like I can only imagine how much energy that's actually going to put forth into their live performance. But they're just dancing in this video. They have to sing over the top of that in a live show. And I'm like, ah! How are you going to do this? I don't know. I love live shows. I know how much energy goes into it, but I've never been on that side where there's like choreography and a live show. So just like adding choreography into what they're doing and how they're singing and stuff like that and the adrenaline dump that's going through them, adding all that choreography in there too is going to be freaking nuts. So like the end of this song for me is what I'm really looking forward to. Let's get into it. This next one is going to be uh, Dionysus and Not Today. And I believe this is the Wembley Stadium performance. They're all wearing white. Looks pretty freaking cool. God, that stage, that crowd. I like the Greek uh, inspired. Okay. I gotta address it again just because like I feel like the longer that like the more into their career that we get the more I'm gonna keep questioning are they doing this live like are they still singing live and I know that might bother some y'all but I'm a very skeptical person whenever I listen to music and if it's really good I'm like is it that good and then I like to really give people props if yes in fact it is and they again here are not lip sinking and i kept saying singing before but it's lip sinking they are not doing that for sure i can already hear the fluctuations in their voices and it sounds good so i'm happy to announce and address it right here they're not lip syncing and i am stoked <laughs> That's so impressive to me that Like, not to beat a dead horse in this conversation, but I feel like, for me, a big reason that I am, like, 
so turned off by ever hearing that they're not actually singing live is because like you paid for a performance like whenever you go to a live show or even whenever you just watch one on youtube you're watching it to see these things like the differences in their voices and i really love and respect the fact that they're doing it live like you're whenever you're here seeing this live show if one of them like god forbid like if they trip or misstep or something like that that's part of the live show you didn't pay to watch a tv show that's scripted in a sense that's the cool thing about live and in their voices too for me that's the cool thing about being live and i freaking love it so for me that's what makes this entire thing interesting is the fact that they're singing really they're all dancing it's like a layer of things that i never would have been able to do live in my own musical career and i'm getting to see them do it. it's really interesting <laughs> JK is such a badass. Live, he's still doing that really low voice really well. That's such a huge crowd too. He's such a badass. I love the way that they're doing this. They're getting their own spotlight in each part of the song. But the crowd's going nuts. That freaking crowd. Before you get into that, I got a couple of thoughts really quick that I'd love to say. So, like, I know in the dance rehearsal part, I said that I feel like they're, those are kind of like them up on a throne right now. Like, them up on these chairs. Uh, but it kind of also looked like a Last Supper type thing, too. Like, the picture of the Last Supper. There's a lot of meaning behind the lyrics, the choreography. I don't know if there's a music video for this or not, but I'd like to watch it eventually. Freaking awesome performance. It's always kind of weird. I feel like the energy in a day concert and a night concert, like, if they would have played the same show at night, it would have looked completely different as far as the crowd's interaction going. Because those little, like, the spheres that they have, all those would have been lit up. It would have looked a lot cooler, and the crowd would have probably looked a lot crazier. If it was at night, I feel like night shows, there's just another energy to it. And this might be like, I don't know if they're doing like just a full on day show, but I bet this song live at night has a completely different feel to it. And on top of that, them playing in the middle of the day like that would make me even more inclined to probably passing out at the ending there. Like when they're singing on that double time part and they're dancing faster like that you have to think like you got to appreciate how winded they must actually be in that sense day show probably hot they're dancing they're freaking butts off they're singing which is really hard to do at the same time and performing in front of all those people a little like trade secret if you are doing a live show like this and any festival that i've ever played we normally played earlier in the day because our band wasn't like huge so if we ever played a summer festival we normally would play earlier thus the 
the hottest portion of the day and you actually take an aspirin or two before you go out and that helps you not sweat it helps your blood flow a little bit and helps cool you off so you're not just dying the entire time but aspirin was like our trade secret they're like take two aspirin before like a couple hours before you're about to play either way here we go let's get into it not today and i'm really excited about this one kind of got a heavier tone to it That guitar isn't in the actual recording, is it? Is that guitar in the recording too? Because that sounds freaking awesome. I am loving that guitar. God, it's mean too. I like it. God, what? Where's the guitar coming from? The guitar and drums and stuff? I didn't hear that in the actual recording or the song that I heard before. So, like, if that's just a live only thing, that's a very rock riff. It sounds so good. And how badass do those dudes feel walking down the freaking, like, walking through the walkway, singing with that going on in the background and everybody freaking losing it? So awesome. I'm looking for the band. Dude's in the background shredding. That's awesome. That's so cool, dude. That looks crazy, oh my god. He's such a badass dude. I love how Sugar's is probably one of the like only dudes with an actual microphone. He's like, nah. God, that high is nuts. Nana 
Wow, not necessarily exactly how I thought that was gonna go down. Like I thought for me, Dionysus was gonna be like the one where I was like, this is freaking awesome live, but not today, crushed it. The actual music, the guitar in the background, the drums sounded so freaking good. The intro, like I am very, very, very impressed by that. That was freaking awesome, God. Yeah, really well done guys. I freaking stoked for that. That was awesome. And I'm really excited for the next songs that we're going to be doing. If you guys have any suggestions for future BTS songs, please drop them in the comments. And if you stuck around the entire time, we actually put an Easter egg in here. Please let us know which BTS member we had in the corner of the video. I'm not going to tell you where it was at, but please, if you saw it, comment it in there and we will shout you out in the next video. Thank you guys so freaking much for watching this entire video. And if you've made it this far, please subscribe. We are growing this channel like crazy and it is all thanks to y'all. Comment down below and I promise I will respond to every single freaking one of them. And like this video, it helps us out a ton. I will catch y'all next time. Freaking toodles!